Hello students. So let's continue with the problems on areas related to circles. The sixth question: In a circular table cover of radius thirty-two centimeter, a design is formed leaving an equilateral triangle ABC in the middle, as shown in the figure. Find the area of the design. So here we have to find the area of the design. Now please observe. Uh, let's say this O is the center of the circle. Now since ABC is an equilateral triangle, the each side ab bc ac will be equal right actually ab is chord right for the circle it is chord even ac and bc are chord so if the chords are equal the angle formed at the center will also be equal okay now why are we discussing about the angle because if you want to find the area of the uh, design or the shaded region what what will be the formula area of the shaded region aosr area of the shaded region that will be equal to area of the circle okay in that we have to minus area of equilateral triangle isn't it but how do we find area of equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 into side square but if you observe the side of the equilateral triangle is not given okay the side of the equilateral triangle is not given therefore we will we won't be able to find the area of the shaded region so we have to do it in a different manner what we'll do is see if you observe if you take only the bottom part which i'm tracing it now what is that that is actually a segment right so totally there are three segments we'll find the area of one segment then we'll multiply it by three that's what we are trying to do so to find the area of the segment we need the angle right at the center so since all the chords are equal the angle formed at the center will also be equal x x and x okay so totally 3x will be equal to 360 degree which implies x is 360 by 3 that is 120 degrees so the angle at the center here is how much 120 degrees now if you remember whenever the angle is at uh, 120 degree at the center of the circle what do we do we draw a perpendicular let me draw this triangle separately okay obc let me draw it separately here okay so o b c let me draw a perpendicular which will be om if you remember whenever you draw perpendicular see this is basically an uh, what to say an isosceles triangle because ob and oc are radius of the circle right so these two sides are equal so it's an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle if you drop a perpendicular to the base that is the unequal side if you drop a perpendicular it gets bisected which means bm will be equal to mc also this angle Gets, I mean, the total one twenty degree will be divided into two parts. That is sixty and sixty. Now, here what we are going to do is we are going to find the area of the segment, right? So, <clears throat> area of one design. Okay, let's take it as area of or total area of. Let's take the total area itself at once. Total area. Total area of design. Is actually three times area of minor segment, isn't it? You find one minor segment, multiply it by three, you get the total area. Now three times. What is the formula to find area of minor segment? Area of minor sector minus area of triangle OBC. Okay. Now three times area of minor sector that will be theta by three sixty into pi r square minus area of triangle is half into base into it. Base is BC, height is OM. Okay. So now three as it is theta. Theta is how much? One twenty degree. So one twenty degree by three sixty into pi. Pi value is not given. So let's take twenty two by seven. And r is given as thirty two. So thirty two square minus half. BC value and OM value. If you remember, here we must take one triangle. Let's take OMC. Make use of cos theta. So that is cos sixty. Cos sixty is what? Op adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent is OM. Hypotenuse is OC. So cos sixty is one by two. OM we have to find it. OC is the hypotenuse. Ah, uh, or OC is also the radius of the circle, which is thirty two. Okay, if you cross multiply OM, you will get it as six. Sorry, sixteen centimeter. Okay, OM you will get it as sixteen centimeter. Okay, and if you use sine theta, 
you will get the value of uh, mc sin 60 degree if you use it uh, it is actually mc by oc which implies let me directly write it it will become 16 root 3 now mc and bm will be equal which implies bc will be actually double of mc that is 32 root 3 okay so let me write it at once here bc value is bc value is 32 root 3 okay and remember this technique uh, this uh, trick okay the uh, base bc that will be actually equal to the radius times root 3 okay and the perpendicular om that will be half of the radius that is 16 in uh, all the problems this is how we get okay in the previous video also uh, i mean in a problem where we were finding the angle of uh, sorry the area of segment where the angle was 120 degree even there if you observe the om value was half of the radius and the base value was the radius into root 3 okay you can check it out so you have bc value is how much 32 root 3 let's substitute it and om value is the half of the radius that is 16 now let's simplify it okay so 3 as it is 120 by 60 0 0 gets cancelled 12 ones are 12 threes are so it is 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 32 square so that is 32 into 32 minus here you can cancel 2 ones are 2 eights are so it becomes 32 root 3 into 8 okay here what you can do is you can multiply you can get the 3 inside so it becomes 3 into 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 32 into 32 minus here also you have to multiply 3 3 into 32 root 3 into 8 okay so 3 3 gets cancelled so what you are left out was 22 by 7 into 32 into 32 so let's multiply 22 into 32 into uh, 32 so 32 into 32 into 22 it becomes 22528 okay by 7 minus 3 into 32 into 8 3 into 32 into 8 that is 768 okay root 3 so we cannot subtract further so that is the total area of the design okay i hope this is clear let's get into the next problem okay the next problem again we have to find the area of the shaded region if you observe abcd is a square and it is also given in the question abcd is a square let's find the area of the square so we get this entire area in that what is not required if you observe only this part that is what is this part actually this is a sector isn't it so how many sectors are there totally at four corner there are four sectors and this sector is actually called a quadrant because the angle is 90 degree so therefore area of shaded region area of shaded region is actually what first we have to find the area of square okay if you find area of square you get the entire area in entire area inside the square you get everything but in the four corners, you don't need the quadrants, right? So let's subtract it. How many quadrants are there? Four. So four into area of quadrant. So whatever is not required, let's take it out. Area of quadrant. Area of square is side into side. Okay. And area of quadrant is one by four pi r square. So minus four into one by four pi r square. Now, according to the question, the side of the square is given as 14 centimeter. And uh, have they given the area of the quadrant? No, they have not given the, I mean, they, they have not given the radius of the quadrant. So we have to find it. Let's find it. It's very simple. See, from A to this end, what do we call this as radius? And this is also radius. All the four circles are having same radius. Okay. So let's say the radius is X. Okay. And this will also be X. So this total x plus x is 2x that will be actually equal to ab right 2x equals ab ab is actually the side of the square which is 14 which implies x is 2x is equal to 14 which implies x is 7 what is x the radius okay so the radius is indirectly given as 7 centimeter now let's substitute 14 uh, i mean side into side 14 into 14 minus 4 4 gets cancelled here actually so we are left with 22 by 7 into 7 square that is 7 into 7 so 7 7 gets cancelled here so 
14 into 14 becomes 196. 22 into 7 is 154. Therefore, we'll be left with 42 centimeter square. Let's get into the next question. In the next question, what we have got is a racing track. Okay. The figure shows a racing track whose left and right ends are semicircular. So this end, this left end, and this right end, left and right end are actually semicircular. The distance between the two inner parallel lines. Okay. The distance, let me show it in red color. That is this length. Okay. This length is actually given as how much? Uh, the distance between two inner parallel line. Okay, I'm sorry. The distance between two inner parallel line. Okay, this line and this line. These are actually parallel. This distance is actually given as 60 meter. And uh, they are 106 meter long. Okay, from here, from this end to this end, they're actually 106 meter long. Okay. If the track is 10 meter wide, that is this width is 10 meter. Okay, width this 10 meter. We have to find the distance around the track along its inner edge and the area of the track. There are two things that we have to find. Now let's let's divide this figure into four parts. See, this figure actually can be divided into four parts. One is the semicircle at the end, semicircular region at the end. Okay, left end and right end. And you've got two rectangles. If you observe, what I'm shading in red color is actually looking like a rectangle, isn't it? This is a rectangle. This is also a rectangle. Okay. So we have got two rectangles, one at the top and one at the bottom. And if you observe carefully, the, one second. This, semicircle region is actually like a circular ring right this part this is actually a half of this is a semicircle so this region which i am shading is a circular ring right semicircular ring this is also a circular ring when you have got semicircle it is obviously semicircular ring now let's not worry about this semicircular ring now now, what is the first question? The first question is to find the distance along the inner edge. So the distance along the inner edge will be, see, uh, from here, from this point to this point, they have given it as 106 meter. Okay. So 106, again, so this is also 106 from here to here. Okay, now what is left out is this curved part, length of this curved part, that is semicircle, right? So there are two semicircles here and here. Okay, so, so distance, distance along the inner edge, distance along the inner edge is actually equal to if you observe, you got 2 times 106. So 2 times 106 plus 2 times length of semicircle. Okay. Or circumference of circumference of semicircle. Okay. So 2 times 106 will become 212 plus 2 times circumference of the semicircle. Okay. So the entire semicircle is 2 pi r. For, uh, for semicircle, it will become pi r. Okay. So 2 12 plus 2 pi is 22 by 7. Okay. Into r. So the radius of the racing track, is it given? No, it is not given. Okay, but indirectly they have given you the this length, right? They have given you this length, which is actually 60 meters, isn't it? That 60 meters is actually acting as diameter for the semicircle, isn't it? So for the inner semicircle, for the smaller semicircle. Okay, let me take it as D as the smaller diameter that is equal to 60 meters. 
therefore the radius will become how much half of it so 30 meter so let's substitute 30 here okay so 212 plus 2 into 22 is 44 44 into 30 so 4 threes are 12 1 carry 4 threes are 12 12 plus 1 13 1 3 2 0 by 7 so if you divide this 212 plus 1 3 2 0 1 3 2 0 divided by 7 that is 188 point we get this as 188.57 so that plus 212 gives you roughly around 400.57 meters okay because what we have found is the length so it is in meters okay in the second part we have to find the area of the track okay now if you observe the area of the track is actually made up of two rectangles area of two rectangles one at the top and one at the bottom and two semicircular rings okay one at the left and the another at the uh, right now let's find the area of the uh, i mean sorry the radius of the bigger semicircle that is capital r that is actually equal to the smaller r plus the width of the uh, track okay if you observe or uh, let's let's take it like this let's find the diameter okay uh, this is 60 meters isn't it so this is 10 and the bottom is 10 isn't it so totally the diameter of the from here to here the diameter of the bigger semicircle is actually equal to 60 plus 10 plus 10 which is 80 okay capital d is actually equal to 80 meter so therefore the capital r will become 40 meters okay let me write it properly 60 meter 30 meter 80 meter and 40 meter that's the radius of the bigger semicircle so the area of the shaded region there are two rectangles one at the top and one at the bottom so if you want to find the area of the track so area of two rectangles and area of two semicircular rings that will be the formula okay so area of the area of the track that will be equal to area of two times two times area of rectangle plus two times area of semicircular ring semicircular ring okay so two times length into breadth this two times half see circular ring is pi into capital r square minus r square since it is semicircular ring we have used half okay so two and two gets cancelled so we are left with two times l into b plus pi capital r square minus small r square now what is l and b if you observe the, the length is 106 meter okay the breadth is the width of the track right that is 10 meter so it will become 106 into 10 okay so 2 into 106 into 10 pi value is 22 by 7 capital r is 40 square minus small r is 30 square okay so here you can multiply it uh, it becomes 2120 plus 22 by 7 you can use a square minus b square formula so it will become a plus b 40 plus 30 that will become 70 40 minus 30 is 10 okay i've used a plus b into a minus b directly okay so here seven ones are seven tens are so it becomes two one two zero plus 22 into 10 into 10 that will become 2200 okay so if you add this it will become 4220 so much meter square that's the required area of the track so let's look into the figure again so very clearly area of the track is actually the track is made up of what two rectangles one at the top and one at the bottom and uh, we have got two semicircular rings right one at the left and one at the right therefore that is why we have used this formula actually this becomes four three two zero isn't it two plus one three yeah four three 20 meter square okay let's get into the next question the ninth one 
So in the ninth question, we have to find the area of the shaded region. Okay, area of shaded region is actually equal to your area of. In all these questions, we have to find area of shaded region. So area of shaded region that will be equal. If you observe here, there is a circle which is completely shaded. Okay. So and it is smaller also. Let me say it as area of smaller circle. Area of smaller circle plus to find the area of the other shaded region. Now observe, O is the center of the circle, so BA becomes the di diameter, right? So this part of the circle which I'm shading now, which I'm circling now, is a semicircle. Whenever you draw a diameter, you get semicircle. Let's find the area of the semicircle in that this triangle area is not required for us. So let's subtract it. So to find the area of the other shaded part, what we we'll lose, let's find the area of bigger because the smaller one also will have a semicircle, right? So let's take the area of the bigger semicircle minus in that we don't need area of triangle ABC that is not required, okay? Now let's substitute the values. Area of smaller circle, that will be equal to pi small r square plus area of bigger semicircle, that will be equal to half pi capital R square minus area of triangle is half into base into height. So let's take AB as the base. Okay. If we take AB as the base, OC will become the uh, height because there are two diameters which is given in the question. And both the diameters are perpendicular to each other. So the angle here is 90 degree. Base will become AB, OC will become the uh, height. Okay. So now let's find the radius. So OA is the radius of the bigger semicircle. Sorry, the bigger circle, right? So OA is equal to 7, which implies capital R is 7 centimeter. Now OD is equal to, actually OD is also the radius of the bigger circle, which is 7 centimeter. But this is acting as the diameter for the smaller circle, right? This is actually the diameter for the smaller circle. Therefore, the radius will become what? Half of it. So radius will become 7 by 2 centimeter. Okay. Now let's substitute it. So pi value is 22 by 7. 22 by 7 into r small r is 7 by 2 the whole square. Plus half pi value is 22 by 7. r is 7 square minus half AB value is the diameter. Okay, so it becomes 14. 7 plus 7, 14. And OC is the radius that becomes 7. So 2 1s are 2 7s are. So let's simplify it. So it becomes 22 by 7 into 7 square is 49, 2 square is 4 plus 1. Uh, here you can cancel 2 1s are 2 11s are. So we'll be left with 11 by 7 into 49. Minus 7 into 7 is 49. So 7 1s are 7, 7s are 2 2s are 2 11s are. So it becomes 11 to 7 is 77 by 2 plus 7 1s are 7 7s are 77 minus 49. Okay. So 77 uh, by 2 will become 38.5 actually plus 77 minus. 49. So we get 28. 77 minus 49 is actually 28. So 38.5 plus 28. Okay. 46, uh, 66. It becomes 66 point 40, right? I'm sorry. It becomes how much? 16, 1 carry. 3 to 5, 6, yeah, 66.5, 66.5 centimeter square. That will be the required area of the shaded region. As you can see here, uh, the area of the shaded region, we have got one small circle which is completely shaded. So we have used that area of small circle. To find the other shaded region, we got to know that AB is a diameter. So whenever AB is a diameter, uh, I mean, whenever you have a diameter, you get a semicircle. So let's find this area of the semicircle, the complete area. In that, what is not required? If you observe carefully, the triangle is not shaded. That is not required. 
so that's why we took area of the bigger semicircle minus area of the triangle okay so and we got the answer so let's continue with the remaining problems in the next video thank you students